Well, hello and welcome to this exercise on uh, transformation by enlargement, or sometimes referred to as dilation. And uh, there's an aspect of area involved in the exercise itself. Now, this is an this is a GCSE high tier exam question, and therefore suitable for IGCSE maths and for grade ten maths as well. And this is the eighth in my series on transformation by enlargement. Right now, here is the question here, and. Uh, Oops, <laughs> this is uh, this is the uh, shape involved here. And uh, the question goes like this. And it says, using calculation, now I've put this in, as opposed to counting squares, I've put this bit in here. Is it using calculation, find the area of shape A, B, C, D. Okay, now to do that, what I've done, I've introduced the point uh, E there. So now I've got two different shapes. I've got a trapezium and a triangle there. And that's what we got there. So the area of the trapezium will be half the sum of the parallel sides of 3 plus 2 is 5, divided 5 by 2, get 2.5 times the height, which is 1. So the area of the trapezium is 2.5 centimeters squared. Now for the triangle, triangle AED, uh, the height is 1. And the base is 3. So 1 times 3 is 3 divided by 2, you get 1.5. So if you now add both the trapezium and the triangle, that will give you the area of shape ABCD. And the answer is 4.0 centimeters squared. And that makes sense. Now moving on. It then says enlarge shape ABCD by a scale factor of 2, of two center. Uh, the origin zero zero. Okay, right. Um, the point A it has got goodness uh, zero one, and if you double this, you're going to get zero two. So A now becomes A prime at the point zero two. Similarly, the point B has got coordinates of two three. And if you double the coordinates, you get 4, 6. So B prime now becomes 4, 6, which is there. And if you jump A prime to B prime, that becomes AB enlarged scale factor 2. Right. Now, similarly for C, we can do uh, the coordinates of C, uh, 4, 3, double as you get 8, 6. And 8, 6 is there. Okay, and that's what we got there. Now, just to confirm, uh, you could have done because we know what B prime is now. I know that from B to C is two, and that's a parallel. That's a line parallel to the C to the x axis. We can actually double that, make that four there. Or just to confirm what you've done, I've done it using the, using coordinates. So that's C prime, and that's the position of C after enlargement by scale factor of two. Now, similarly for D. Uh, the coordinates of D are 4, 2, double those you get 8, 4, 8, 4 there, and that's D prime there. And as before, because uh, CD is parallel to the y-axis, we could have drawn C, C prime to D prime, just double the units there. Okay, but this is just to confirm what you've done. So that's D prime there. Now we join A prime to D prime. So now a prime a prime b prime c prime d prime now becomes the image of the object a b c d after enlargement by a scale factor of two that's what we got there now for section c and it says this is in the in the in the, in the actual question it says using your knowledge of the relationship between scale factors and enlarged images Confirm that the area of the image is four times the area of the object. So, what we then do is look at the, the relationship between area scale factor and linear scale factor. Now, area scale factor is linear scale factor squared. In this case, two squared is four. That's the area scale factor. Okay, right. Now, if the area of the object is 4.0 centimeter squared, we expect the area to be 4 from there, times 4 there, 
sixes set in a square there. Okay. Now to confirm that, as before, we're going to introduce e prime there. So now that now becomes a trapezium with parallel sides one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. And if you add both, you should get ten divided by two, you get five. And now what you got there as a trapezium, ten divided by two, you get five. Now the the height is two. So five times two is ten. Now for the triangle, the height of the triangle there of the enlarged triangle is two. The base is one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, two times six is twelve. Divide twelve by two, you get six. And then six plus ten, that gives sixteen centimeters squared. So in effect, we now confirm this calculation using the area scale for using the area scale scale factor method. All right, and I hope that made some sense. Um, please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye now.